Cyclone Yas has intensified into a very severe cyclonic storm and is headed to the Odisha Bengal coast. Both the states are evacuating lakhs of people from the coastal areas. In fact, over 11.5 lakh people have been evacuated from vulnerable places in West Bengal. The Odisha government said it's moved over 2 lakh people from vulnerable areas into coastal districts uh, to safety. In Kolkata, the airport will shut operations from 8.30 this morning uh, to, uh, till uh, 7.45 in the evening. And the army has deployed 17 cyclone relief columns in Bengal. Well, let's go across uh, to NDTV's. Um, well, let's just listen in uh, to uh, what uh, the IMD had to say. Uh, actually, the very severe cyclone storm that, uh, yes, uh, that is now over northwest Bay of Bengal, and it is moving at a speed of 15 km per hour in the direction of north northwestward. Yeah, it is about uh, 60 km east from Dhamra and uh, about north north northeast uh, east northeast of uh, Balasar around it is about uh, 90 km. And apart from that, we are expecting since it is moving at a speed of 15 km per hour in north north northwest direction, we are expecting it will reach uh, uh, the coast very near and uh, make a landfall process will start during, new, new, uh, during noon hour of today. And uh, during uh, the landfall process, wind speed will be around. Uh, 130 to 140, gusting up to 150 kmph. Well, let's go across to Monidipa now for more. And uh, Moni, tell us the latest that you're hearing. A lot of uh, evacuations have already taken place and people have been asked to stay indoors. Uh, that's right. And in Kolkata, really, the city is looking deserted as it prepares for what it fears is Amphan number two. But the Met Department is telling Kolkatans, at least, that no, uh, Yas will not match the fury of Amphan. So there is not that much need to worry. Of course, it's all a very vulnerable situation. And as we speak, the wind speeds are picking up over here. Uh, but Kolkata will probably escape by the skin of its teeth. The big concerns are really uh, the, in Bengal, and that is East Midnapur district, the coastline and also the South 24 Parganas Sundarbans area, which is low-lying and fragile and very, very vulnerable. These areas are likely to get hit the worst. Besides, of course, the Balasor area of Odisha, and by which I mean districts like Jagat Singhpur, Kendrapada, uh, Bhadrak, which have all seen super cyclone 1999. Uh, but this time, uh, Yas uh, making a landfall there, we believe, around noon. However, uh, you just heard uh, the chief of the weather department speaking. Uh, since then, there has been some movement. Uh, the cyclone is about um, 40 kilometers from Dhamra, we are being told, and 60 or 70 from both Balasore and Digha, and wind speeds are picking up. But you know, the warning was that they might go up to 180 kilometers gusting, which is almost as much as Cyclone Amphan. But uh, we are seeing that the figures are being brought down by the Med Department. The latest bulletin I have of 7.30 says uh, the maximum wind speeds could be gusting at 145. But uh, the Med Department reports something that I may have misunderstood High alert everywhere in Bengal and Odisha for the oncoming Yas cyclone. In Kolkata, as you mentioned, airport is going to be shut down a few minutes from now. Uh, railways are also truncated. Nothing is moving along the east coast. And of course, huge alert for wind of uh, for sea surge. That is like one of the biggest concerns because apparently today is also uh, lunar high tide. Uh, uh, coincidentally, it's a lunar high tide. So what's going to happen is that the astronomical level of all water bodies will be higher than usual. On top of it, in Digha, in Med East Mednipur, South 24 Parganas, we should expect a sea surge of anything between two to four meters. Also, in Balasore, Khamra, Paradeep, all these areas, will uh, likely see huge inundation with you know waves going as high as 13 14 feet 
which is a lot. So a lot of low-lying areas along the coastline likely to go under, which is why, as you mentioned, I believe some 10 lakh people in Bengal and 8 lakh plus in Odisha have been evacuated. Bandobast in place, Odisha has handled so many cyclones that it has, you know, the mechanism already in place and so does Bengal. I mean, I can remember in the last few years since Isla, there has been Falin, Foni, and then there has been, of course, Amphan, um, and then uh, Yas. So preparations are peaking, uh, but that risk of, you know, the cyclone doing much more damage than expected is very, very real.